number one gym to be. Stay strong, healthy, and fit. Get ready for your Fit 7-Eleven home workout. Hi guys, great that you're online. My name is Rebecca Bartel. Welcome to my YouTube class for Fit 7-Eleven. So this is the first class of 24 classes getting with me fit and strong. So actually what we'll do is just, you need a mat, you need your towel, get something to drink and just your body. So it's a functional body weight training for level one, the first time. So it's 45 minutes. I know you have already experienced maybe in functional training, but this is what I wanna do. I wanna do a level for beginners and like a little bit advanced. And please, what you have to do is every week join the class on YouTube for Fit711, joining my class. So we will build up it and we'll go for progression. Every exercise lesson will be a little bit more harder, but starting at the beginning to get a good fundamental movements for squatting, lunges, push and pull, core rotation, band to extend. So that's all about the fundamental moves for body weight training. And after that, we can add endurance, we can add more balance or whatever you like for sport motoric skills. So 45 minutes of workout starting with the mobility, warming up muscles, joints and ankles and everything. And please just do everything what you're doing in a full range of motion to be sure to get warm up. And then afterwards we'll do about 45 seconds of exercise doing a 15 to 20 seconds break. So it's a good music, just keep on powering, no break in between. If you feel like grabbing some water, of course, you decide, but we'll don't do a big, big break. So 45 minutes, give your best and enjoy your class. Ready for it? Let's warm up. So open your feet, shoulder wide, starting with your shoulders, roll them back. Yeah, spread your fingers. So even if you're at home or on holiday, wherever you are, make sure you have fun every workout what you're doing and make sure you have enough water with you. And let's do it, okay? Circle. Bend your knees, circle your shoulder back. Just 15 seconds more. Open. Yes, full range. Chest opener. Stretch your chest, mobilizing your shoulders. Exhale. Yes. Let's go to your chest. Bend, open, bend, open. If you feel like it's too fast, you just go for your speed, okay? Please make sure your heart rate is going up, so don't be too slow. And extend, 15 seconds. Yes. Roll your spine in. Eyes are following the movement. Give me four beats more. Four, yes. Three, let's warm up. Two, let's go lower to your spine. Okay, roll, extend. So you feel that beat in that music? Try to follow. Yes, it's a little bit more speed to get you fit, a little bit more for your endurance. Inhale, exhale. Mobilizing your spine. Got four more, four, three, two, go, two. Bigger movement, go down, bend, extend, bend. Extend, yes. Exhale. Make sure your eyes are following the movement. Full range of motion. Yes. 15 seconds to go. Are you with me? Eight. Down. Seven. Yes. Spread your fingertips. Full range. Four more. Three more. We're staying by our chest and taking add in hips. Open. Alternate with your foot. Yep, good. Open. Keep your elbows straight. So there's 15 seconds left. Let's go. Are you seeing my hips? I'm pushing my hips to stretch my hip flexor. Two to go. Last one. Yes, turn. Open. Coming to a rotation. It's still your spine. Keep your knees bent, Lee. Slide it. Yes. And turn your body in your upper position. If you're feeling dizzy, just look in the front. 15 seconds. Yes, you have that? Take your ankles and push. Yes, come on, turn your hip. You gotta pick up your feet, turn, turn. Bring it up and stretch, up. Good, woo, hard way is going up. Yes, stretch. Give me four beats. Three to go. Ready? Come in front. Turn your shoulders. Eight. Yes. Turn your hip. Make sure you're warming up your ankles on your foot. Eight. Seven. Six. 
five. You ready for it? Open your feet. Let's go down. So here's the dynamic stretch for your inner thighs. Yes. Work with your arms. Not like this. Yes. Keep your shoulders up, chest out. I want to see your fingertip. Eight. Seven. Yes. Your feet is completely on the floor. Are you ready to go lower? Level two. Keep that knees and legs. Fingertips go down. Eight. Yes. Seven. Pushing your hips from left to right, stretching your inner thighs. I need four. Three. Ready for rotation, legs stays, upper body. Eight. Turn. Yes, eyes are following the hand upstairs. Yeah, going up. For four. For three, good. Are you ready? Just change to your right side, stretch. So, this is your hip flexor, right? So now you feel your legs stretching. Get prepared for eight, seven. Chin away from your chest. Four, three, ready for your hamstrings. Go, down, pull your toes up, yes. You feel that stretch in your hamstrings? Let's go. Four. Ooh, I feel that stretch. You too? Four. Let's go to your upper body and hold. Rotate. So guys, if your left feet is in front, make sure your left hand is following to the roof. Yes, torque spine. And change to the center. Give me a good stretch to your center. Push. Yes, everything what you're doing, you're feeling your heart rate is going up. In four, three, are you ready to change to your left side? Here we go, come on. So you see, the feet is going backward, leg is straight, tension over here, but give me a stretch. In four, three, hamstrings up, down, up, down, yes! Try to straighten that leg. Four more. Four. Three. So we're ready for the last one. Torque spine. Rotate. And go. Exhale. Up. Down. Up. Down. I need four beats to go. Four. Three. Give me two more. Two. And to the center plie. Last one. Coming up. Rotate. Mobilizing your shoulders again and your chest. Give me a stretch. In eight, seven, six. Legs are stiff, just your upper body. And inhale, exhale. So, no, no, we're not finished. We're starting now. So, are you ready for it? The main part, starting with lower body squats. Open your feet shoulder wide. So, it's 45 seconds. I need your hands over here, forearms over here and leave the elbows away from your ribs. Okay, that's everything what we have to do. Going down to a squat, above this tension over here, coming up, extending your hips. Let's go. One, and up. Two, and up. What you're feeling is the speed takes more pressure on your endurance so we can train strength and endurance to get really fit. Okay, just 30 seconds to go. Down, up, down, up, yes. Eyes are following the movement once more. Keep going. If you feel it's too fast, a little bit more lower speed. Slower than for you, eight. But if you're feeling good, just keep going. Come on. It's just a couple of seconds left. Four beats. Four. Pick it up. Three. Yes. Two. Good job. 15 seconds break. So you're prepared for the mass. We're going down. Coming to a plank. Make sure your hand wrists on one line with your elbows and shoulders. Okay, level one, ready, static plank and hold. Even if you did that before, it's always important to train your fundamentals to get better in every progression, what you have for possibilities in your exercise. So keep that body in one line. Yes. Are your knees straightened? Yes. And your heels are pushing back and your elbows are straight, hold it. Yes, I know it could be easy, but if you do it perfect, it will be much harder. 15 seconds, let's go. Make sure fingertips are open and hold. Yes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring it up, good job. So we're going back. There's always a switch between lower body and upper body, giving more strength with your body weight. 
Everything what you have to do, just go without a break for 45 seconds. Second set for it. Ready, let's get it started. Squat, down, up, down, up. Keep going, don't stop. And if you're coming up, push your hips, tighten your glutes, that where it is, okay? Here the glutes are working. Come up, push, yes. 16 reps, one, pick it up, two, come on, yes. Come on, keep that speed for four, three. So guys, that's what it's all about. It's 15 seconds to go, stick to it, come on, eight. Seven, good, I'm with you, come on. Just give me four reps of the squats. Four, pick it up, three, pick it up, two, good job, relax. Ready for round two? So we're doing always the same exercise for two sets to make sure everything is fine, your technique is good, your condition gets better, you will all follow all the reps without a break. And hold, let's go. And then afterwards, the third set is that one with a little bit change in a progression of the basic exercise. So guys, how are you feeling? It's just 30 seconds, keep smiling. I'm smiling too, I have to because of the camera, but actually I'm smiling because you are training with me. And I feel it also, so please stick to it, let's do that together. Don't drift in the way, pick your hips up. 15 seconds, not 15 minutes, hold it, yes. Woo, you feel shoulders and triceps, not just only your abs. Countdown in four, three, two, pick it up. Okay, here's the pre preview for the next exercise. It stays by in squat, and you're picking your knees up, but please, with a little bit of speed, in a full range, that is the goal to get your knees to your chest. Elbows keeping over here, shoulder plates together, okay? Make sure you're training your shoulder plates, because this makes no sense. Just pull your elbows back, training your shoulder plates. You ready? So it's alternate, first starting with a squat. Knee pull, down, pull, down, pull, down, pull. So make sure you keep in your speed. If this is too fast, slow down. But please make sure it's just 16 reps. One, down, pull, down, pull. Yes, pick your knee up. Exhale. So you ready? There is the 15 seconds you're waiting for, for eight, down, seven, down, six, down, five, four to go, squat, knee, squat, knee, two more, yes, and good job. So a few difference, even if you have just one little thing what you're changing, you can add more sport motor skills like endurance like that for everyone, yeah? So we're going down, going for core and balance, Leg lift, alternate, giving a little bit more instability in that exercise, and go. Lift, slowly down. Lift, slowly down. 45 seconds, lift. You see my knee? It's straightened, so there's more tension on the glutes. Lift, down. Do you want to know that time, what's rest? Yeah, it's half time, let's go. Up. Don't quit, up, right here, right now, up, down, you want to see what's happening now, just two more reps, let's go for it, one rep, last one, repetition, yes, pick it up, good job, so there is a next movement, I want to make sure that's clear for us, so please, you're starting with lunges, starting position is standing, feet are hip wide, you can decide with your hands, but actually all day live movements are always like this. You're taking arms and feet always across. So you're going forward, backwards, change leg. Forward, backwards, let's get it started. Down, back, down, back. So it's the same time of tension, 45 seconds, but just 30 seconds to go. So what is the task? Please get your knee to the bottom, because that's the leg, what's working. Keep your upper body straight and use your arms. 15 seconds, yeah, lunges. Drop and push back. Yes, I need your best technique because I'm knowing what is coming in the next 23 sessions with me together. Good job, so we're going down. So back to plank. 
Now, starting with alternating arm lift to get more tension on abs, lower spine, and shoulders. What you have to do is just open your feet more than shoulder wide to get a good stability, and that is what's important. You have to close your hands. Ready? Yes or yes? Ready? Let's pick it up. Up, hold it. Two beats up, two beats down. One, two, down, down. Up, up. Raise your arms. Up, up. No, I didn't forget the time. It's 30 seconds. You gotta trust me. What she's doing, she's guessing, no, I can hear the music. Up, up, down. Oh, it's getting harder for me. I have to stop to talk. 15 seconds. Spread your fingertips. Yes. Two more, two reps. In four, three, two. Good job. Yes. Exhale. Drink some water. And now we're going further. So if you say, this is too easy. Everything what you can do, you can really, really add some more and it gets difficult. Okay, let's go. Starting here, right leg back. Now your hands over here, toe touch, get down. Up, down, yes. So this is the power, leg lift, quick up, slow down, control the balance. Yes. Come on, come on. So it's half time, then we're changing, switching the leg. Last time, switch leg, other side, let's go. Lunge backward, toe touch. Come on, upper body straight, yes. So even if it's lower body training, you can train static your lower spine and your abs. If you just keep the posture. Pull up, yes, up, come on. Two to go, last one. Good job, breathe. So what we're doing now, we're changing a little bit more. If you see it's too difficult, stay by number one level. Or if you see it's fine, go further with me, okay? So this is here, number one, ready? And if you say this is too easy, we can switch it, okay? Let's do one more, the first one, okay? One more. You ready? Keep your hips up. Press your knees to the roof, hold it, down. So where's the focus to have all the success from that exercise? It's your hips. If you start rotating with your hips, you're cheating. Never cheat. The power comes from the core that arms and legs can move free without rotating your hips. Yes. Exhale, keep control of your body and keep going, up. Woo! Yes. Up. Not too fast. Even the beats are motivating to be faster. Keep that tempo. Up. Control. 15 seconds. Up. Yes. I guess you get your arm higher. Just even if it's one centimeter more, it's even better. Come on. Last left side. Four, three, two, go. Up. Yes. So it's the third set. Ready for lunges? Okay. Remember, it could be also level two. Are we going for split jumps? Let's go. 45 seconds. Watch for your arms. Jump. Come on, come on, I'm with you. Yes. If it's got harder, just keep smiling. 30 seconds, let's go. One, two. You don't have to turn, I'm turning. That you can see what's happening. Stay on the spot, come on. Exhale. So there is it, count on. 15, go, eight, seven, six. Don't stop. When it's harder, it changes your fitness, come on. Hard work pays off. Four, three, two. <laughs> so if you don't feel like everybody's watching you, you feel alone, you just do this, okay? But if you feel like if somebody's watching you, you stay like this, okay? Let's go down. <laughs> Whew! You feel that? So what we're doing now, we're burning more calories because it's more endurance. You ready for level two? You remember, close your feet. Jump and hold. Open your feet, arms are staying. 
Control. Yes, stiff body. Not like this. Hold it over here. Keep control at your hips. Use your core. 30 seconds. Open your feet. Come on. Jump. Go back. Jump. Woo! Back. Do you feel your arms? I feel my arms. Come on, 15 seconds. Eight. Back. Yes. Don't get faster. Trust me. Four. Back. Yes. And last one. Pick it up. Good job. So it's always important to challenge yourself. If you want to get better, don't try to be on the same level. Try to get that challenge. You feel a success afterwards. Okay? Lower spine. Good mornings. So this is the number three of the fundamental moves. Now it's hip dominated. No more squatting. The power, the strength is coming from your lower spine. Please make sure you're pushing your hip backward and your head is going really in front. So if anybody knows to do that with a barbell, you know, it's the same. But if you're going down, it's legs. If you're going forward and pushing your hips back, it's your lower spine. So I'll be over here. Chin away from your chest. Yes, and keep that speed. 15 seconds. You can keep your knees slightly bent. Yes, chest out, good. Your best technique. Woo! Come on. And last one. Good job, pick it up. So we're going down, coming to the side plank. Why side plank? You have a frontal chain, a back chain, and a lateral chain. And of course, you can train all the time the same muscles and things on your body, but actually it's important also to train the whole body, holistic. So let's go to a side plank, take your elbow on your shoulders and pick it up. Level one. Yes, between back muscles and hips, there should be enough space to you and the floor. Keep your hips straight. Hold it. Not like this. Turn to me, push your hip in front and raise your arms. Hold it, hold it. Don't forget to keep smiling. You never know who's watching you. 15 seconds to go. Eight, keep it up. Seven, yes, six. You can count if you want to. Yes, four beats, four, three, yes, two. Good job and turn around. Woo, there's the water, you can grab it. So you ready? Fits and 11 time, functional level one, and go. Here we go. So guys, remember, everything what you're doing now, perfect. You'll get a lot of success in all the next progressive sessions with me here on YouTube for Fits and 11. 30 seconds. Make sure your elbows up. Elbows up. Yes. If you feel comfortable over here or here, it's fine. Just make sure your body's in one line from your head until your feet. Hold it. Hold it. Pick it up. You see that? There's still space. Up. Come on. Countdown. Here we go. Eight. Seven. No, don't drop. Don't drop. Be strong. Be strong. And four. And three. And two. And one, good job. Pick it up. So, what we can do now, if we don't have any equipment, it's no problem. The body's enough equipment. Your body's your own gym. Just try to change things like the movement. Over here, straighten your arms. Good morning. So if you're feeling like your arms are dropping, it could be of the flexibility of your shoulder joints or the missing stability of your shoulder joints or just a little bit more fit is what we need. But if you're feeling good, just raise your arms, keep it like this, or you're going back to level one. Same tension, the focus is on pushing your hips back, training your lower spine, down, down, up, up, yes. Come on, straighten your back. Exhale, if you're coming up. So guys, I just need four more reps, let's go. Down, down. Up, 
squeeze your glutes, tweet to go. You see the fingertips? Spread. Two reps. Woo, one more, come on. Yes. Woo. Okay, you know, I train a lot with weights, but I'm sure if you know the feeling for your body and have a good technique, even bodyweight training can really challenge you. So just go down. So, level two already. No, it's not laying on the beach. We have to work for the beach, okay? Let's go. Up, two, three, four, four beats. One, two, three, slowly down. Pick it up, raise your leg, and down. So you're feeling that muscles on the side from your legs and glutes and training your core. 30 seconds. Guys, come on, don't quit. Up, lift, it's like that. Push, shoulder in power, come on. Up, yes. 15, one, two, three, down. Up, lift, down, two more, keep the balance. One, two, down, last one. Up, good job, and change side. So typical things, what happen always, the elbow slides to the side, but to protect your shoulder, keep your elbow in the line to your shoulder joint, okay? That's everything what you have to do. And of course, give your best. Pick it up. Yes, new round, down. Up, or here, down, yes. Up, woo, lift, 30 seconds. Do you feel that size over here? on your lateral chain, training your core. There's a small tip, but nobody knows that, okay? It's our secret, just push your hand here, your hand raised to the floor, you come higher. Up, lift, down, three reps, lift, up. Oh my guys, I'm sweating, you too? Up, lift, yes, last one, up, lift, pick it up. So, what we can do now, we can take weights, we can take the towel, to get more progression in that good morning, but actually, just the body weight, okay? Ready for third set? It's easy. Taking your arms over here, down, lift, back, up. Down, lift, back, up. So that could be easier, even if the number two set, where you had your hands all the time, continues over your head, lift. Make sure, Stay by that band to extend from your hip. No more squatting. And pick it up, here we go. One, raise your arms, extend your hip. Down, up, woo! Down, good. A little bit more higher your arms, come on. Just do four more reps. One, two, three, up, down. Straighten your elbows, come on, two more. Woo. Okay, I'm knowing what is coming. Yes, it's a side plank. What you will do, you will decide yourself for a next level. Always together. If you say, Rebecca, please, I want to stay by level two. It's your decision, but actually, try. Okay, let's go down. So the movement, if you're going up, it's elbows and knee together. Coming from the side plank, doing a side crunch. Yes. Pull, hold, pull, hold, pull, hold. Straighten your arms and legs. Pull, hold, pull, hold. So this is a challenge, it's 16 reps. Go, count, 16, yes. 15, exhale, 14, 13, don't go down. Push yourself up, power from your shoulder. So guys, that last reps we're waiting for, eight to go. Eight, stand, seven. Extend your arms and your leg. Exhale, if you're pulling. Yes, come on, let's go. Pull, one more. Pull, yes. Rest. Woo! You feeling good? So this is the time you're starting really to sweat and feeling your muscles. And that's a great thing at body weight training. Anytime, anywhere, not big place what you need, just you and me, <laughs> okay? Change side, you ready? Watch for your elbow, remember? Guys, let's pick it up, pull. One, 
two, pull, pull, work your abs, yes. So if there's tension on your back muscles, you feel your lateral muscles even if without weight. 16, 15, 14, keep smiling, remember, it's much easier, pull, 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 Woo! keep the balance, for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, come on, two more, two, and one, so this was really hard, it's not always my favorite doing side plank, is I'm really honest to you, but it's really important, okay? Let's go to the center. Okay, what we're doing now is still a lower body. Elbows up. So this is normal if you go to different dimensions like laterals, frontal, or transversal, the movements where you can move your body to the side, turning, walking in front, going down and up. Just change your lunges, okay? So coming to the left, doing a lateral lunge, elbows on shoulder level, pushing back but the right leg keeps stiff. Ready? Just go to the left. Go. Drop. Push back. Drop. Push back. Drop. Take your booty to the floor. Lower and push back. Yes. Keep going for four reps. Yes. Keep the upper body in a good posture. Again. Come on. Down. Back. Good. Down, you ready to change side? Let's go to the right. Down. Yes. Guys, this is the posture from the side. Head is up, shoulders up, chest out. Getting your booty to the floor. And it's just four more reps. Trust me, four. Down, three to go. Yes. Hey guys, two more. Two. Back. One. And to the mat. I know all the time you're waiting for that exercise. It's here. It's push-ups. <laughs> yeah, I know. I want push-ups. Oh my God, no. Hey guys, shoulders, chest, and triceps. It's a push movement. So if you're doing strength in the gym, moving weights like a barbell, you have to train first body weight, okay? Let's do some push-ups. Posture is just the thumbs on the mat. Open your feet and push. Why just don't saying I can go on my knees? If I say you go on your knees, you will go. But if I say try without knees, you will try. 30 seconds. Or you can go like one, two, up, up. One, two, up, up. But you didn't see that, okay? Eight more, okay. Eight, seven. We're doing four like this. That's an agreement, and four like this. Four, without knees. Three, two, one. Woo! You can go to the beach now. No, stay here. <laughs> Take a breath. Level two directly, of course. Let's try. Starting here on the right side of your mat, that's a good length to have the way of the movement should be like this. Okay, if your mat is the same size, just take it as a goal, okay? Watch, watch what's happening. Down, pull. Keep the arms up, elbows and knees touching in the center of your chest. Starting over here, hands up. Here we go. Pull, down, up. Yes, leg lift across. Training your core with your legs. Yes, pull. You can take always your elbows like this also. Just make sure your shoulders are rotating to make sure you train your core. One more. Change side. Four, three, two, drop. Drop, pull. Or this version. Come on, lower. Big step, pushing away. Power from your adductors. Rotating your shoulders and training your core. 15. Woo! Pull. Exhale. At the highest point of your knee. Good job. 
No, 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 you don't have to go now. The phone's not ringing, nobody's at the door. You have to go for your push-ups. Let's go. What she's doing now with me? Yeah, push-ups. Okay, we try like this. <laughs> Just push up. Up, release. Up, release. So controlling the center of your body. That means stabilizing your hip, legs are straight. Release your hands. Drop, release. Hips up, chest down. Guys, keep pushing. Down, up, down, up. Yes. Make sure the booty's tight. Looks more sexy if somebody's doing a picture from you. 15 seconds to go. Eight, seven, six. Don't quit. Four. Woo! Yes, I'm with you. Last time up. Good job. So. Okay. You're staying at the laterals, right? What she's doing now. I can do everything with you. If you turn, this is the basic. That's perfect, Dory. Elbows up, turning around, kicking. Okay? So you have to turn 15 degrees, 45 degrees, sorry. 45, kick. Drop, up. You can take your hands, touch. Remember? Touch, that's from another position. Four to go. Three reps. Two. So kicking is just extending and banding for your leg muscles and change size. So this is what ring breathing is also a sport motor skill balance. Balance is really important to stabilize your joints, your knees, and your hips. Other side. Ready? Lateral lunges. Down. Ooh, we have to go to this side. Down. Up. Up. Down. Here we go. Drop. Kick. Hands. So you're seeing, I have to be more concentrated because this side is much more harder. And that's really nice if you're doing bodyweight training. You can see the difference of your power. If you see left or right, eight to go. Turn your hip. Drop. Four to go. I'm concentrating. I want one more. Kick. Yes. Woo, this side was hard for me. Do you always prefer one side more? Yes, me too. But make sure, give your best at both sides. Guys, last time of push-up. What she's doing now. Forearms. Open your feet. Okay, you know up and down, all right? Make sure you're placing your hand at the position from your elbows. Down, down, up, up. Okay, what she's doing, that's quite easy. Easier than the push-ups. Down, down, change. Left, hind follows. Left, right hand, left. Starting with left. Woo! Two more, keep that speed. Okay, last time, starting with the right hand. One, two, tricep push-up. Down, up, down, left, last one. Two triceps push-ups, keep your elbows in. Down and up. Woo, good job. So guys, we have to row, pushing. Legs are done, lower spine is done. So one of the most important primal movement patterns is also the opposite of pushing, is pulling. So it's quite easy. Just lay on the floor. Lay on the floor. And starting with an overhead roll. Thumbs up. Keep your knees from the floor. Squeeze that booty. Yeah. Filling your glutes. Okay, pull your elbows to your hips. Training upper body. One, back, two, back. So the good thing is that that workout, you should have the heart 
where it was a little bit more up to train your endurance and burning a lot of calories. Come on. Pull, extend, pull. Guys, keep your upper body up from that mat using your lower spine muscles. Come on. Eight reps, pull. Eight, long, seven, six. Are you with me? Five, leave those arms up for four, for three, yes. Two, and one. So, what we can do now, combination with plank together. So starting with a basic plank. So actually, the mother of all primer movement patterns is that plank. If you have a, a stabilizing core with hips, shoulder joints, and of course, lower spine muscles and abdominals, you always have a better technique in all that main exercise during functional movement. So please, let's go to one of the important fundamental moves, core plank. Pick it up. Hold it. So guys, there's another one I just want to give you for getting a better technique. If you're closing your hands, you never train your shoulder plates. So this is really important. Open your hands, spreading your fingertips, pushing your forearms to the floor, and pushing your hips back. And keep that hip turn to your belly bottom, okay? That's it. Chin away, and keep that knees up from the floor. 30 seconds. Hold. Not like this. I know this is easy, but easy is never good. Give your best. So guys, ready to count? Eight, seven, six, whoo! Don't drop to that lower spine. Four, three, it's hard? Yes, let's go down, relax. <laughs> so, guys, it's just about five minutes. Let's do the next set. Take the arms to the side, adding your shoulder plates. It's still upper body. Train your shoulder plates and your upper back muscles. And remember, knees away from the floor. You can also train your glutes. If you just keep your knees bent, not bent, so straighten it. Tighten your legs and 30 seconds. Shoulders together. Up, down. Thumbs to the roof. Up, down, up, down. Oh my God, my shoulders are burning. Yours two for eight, seven. Come on, don't quit. Six, it's just five up. Five, four more. Lift higher, much more higher. Two, and one. Relax your arms. Of course, there's a part of stretching at that workout. But actually, what you should do, what's much more better for your body, go on YouTube to the FitSend11 YouTube channel and use the mobility classes because you need about 15 to 20 minutes mobility. Okay, and if you get better in mobility, you will be better in flexibility and movements in your body weight training. So use the other classes from it's an 11 and do mobility, okay? So up, down. I'm the person who makes you fit, training your strength, your endurance, but I need a little bit more mobility, okay? So use that classes, okay? It's the best what you can do for your body. Woo! What she's doing? Dynamic plank, but it's not like this. Nobody wants to pick up the booty. You have to work with your abs. Open your hands, arms are 90 degrees in one line. Up. Down, up, down. Here's the important question. Do you feel your abs? Up, down, up, down. Here's the beat of the music. Don't stop for eight, eight. Down, seven, down, six. Higher, up and down for four, for three, for two, and relax. So we need two more of 45 seconds. Okay, pick your arms up, place your hands in front, make sure your arms are in one line. This is core and lower spine. Up, Superman, up. Not like this. No. Here. Eyes to the floor, relaxing your neck. 16 reps, pull, up, down, up, down. No good. I want to see your ankles and your hand, wrist, your elbows, all of the joints in one line with your whole body. Eight, seven, six. Sometimes it's easy exercise could be really hard. 
Whew. Whew. Good job. There's it. There is the goal. Last 45 seconds. What we'll do is a body saw from the starting plank position as basic. Going with your ankles forward and backward, using your feet and elbows and shoulders. There is the movement in one line, going back, moving forward until you reach with your shoulders, your elbows. Take your hands. Guys, that's the last 45 seconds. Go. Down, forward, down, forward. Keep that body in one line. One line. If you want all the benefits of that exercise, head and knees and feet are one line. 30 seconds. Forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward. Yes. Here's the answer of your question. We have to exhale if you're pushing forward. 15 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, four. Three, two, relax. So guys, this was the warm-up. No, just joking. <laughs> How are you feeling? Yes, you did it. 45 minutes, the first session here at YouTube channel for Fit711. So just come up and be proud of yourself. So please do me a favor. Everything what you're doing has to be continuous. So that means if you have one success, to see the success, Come to the class every week. Just go to the YouTube channel, Fit711, join my class, Rebecca Bartlett. Next week, we're doing functional training, body weight, level two. Okay? And then it goes further with functional HIIT training, high intensity interval training, of course, a little bit of martial arts fitness, kickboxing. So you can do fitness boxing, you do functional training, HIIT training. It's a complete workout for your body, your power, and your will. And of course, burning that calories. Okay? Just come up, a short stretch. Yes, grab your hand wrist, come to the side. Whoo! Guys, you making me sweat. So I'm happy to see you next week in class. Yes, open your chest. Give me a short stretch for your chest muscles. Whoo! That's 45 minutes. For you, you have 45 minutes a day, okay? Okay, just go up with your ankle, stretching your quadriceps. So this is Pushing your knees together, pushing your hip out. Hold it. Okay, just hold your stretch. Remember, mobility classes. Okay, going forward, sitting down. Give me that stretch in your hamstrings, making sure your body from your spine is in one line to your head. Holding it. It's just a short stretch, okay? Come up, grab your ankle, chest out. Smile. You did it. Ooh, I'm sweating. Okay, turn wherever you are, go to that position back. Make sure your heel is really grabbed to the floor to feel that stretch on your hamstrings. Good, sit a little bit lower, yes. Close your feet, inhale and exhale, exhale. <sighs> stretch and shake your arms. Hey guys, thanks for your energy. Happy to see you in my class, happy to see the success. And please let me know how the training is for you. If you like it, if you have some more ideas, whatever you want, just let me know about Fit711. My name is Rebecca Bartlett. See you in the next sessions here at YouTube. Bye-bye. Have a great day.